Welcome back to another episode of the free VST Plugs Detective, where I view, test, out, and demonstrate various VSTs. For today, we're looking at the Minimal Clock by Minimal Instruments. I honestly don't even know how to rate this one. It's, as it sounds, it's a clock effect or sound plugin. You know, I don't know. I'm going to give this one, I'll give it like a 3.6 out of 5. I think the reason why is on one end, it's really just ticking noises, right? But on the other end, this one has a, a bunch of really cool, unique features that I think is just kind of very interesting. That if you're going to make a, you know, a clock sound effect plugin, it's kind of cool that they have all these features. And especially with the GUI and other stuff involved, it's a more in-depth plugin than I originally expected. So I'm just going to play it, right? So... Now, if I increase the BPM, or actually, not the BPM, but if I increase, like, the pitch, it does help increase the BPM as well, so, or the speed. Now, going all the way down. Right, a bit slower. But then I can also adjust a lot of things here. So, you can see I have this here, and I can adjust the BPM up somewhat like that, right? So, I can do that. If I want to go up and down just to see. Now, on the clock, I can adjust a few different things here. You notice I have reverb, volume, and basically a filter. What's cool about this is that these dials on the side actually adjust it. So, let's have this. Turns up the reverb. Kind of cool, right? And then this adjusts the volume. So... All right. Now, in addition, these hands also adjust. So for the filters, I have a low pass or high pass. You can always just EQ this. I feel like, personally, I'm not the biggest fan. Unless it's, like, very, very in-depth. I'm not the biggest fan of using, like, filters within the plugin itself. But you can if you want. So I have this to adjust the pitch as well. And then for the filters now... It's this one. Wait, no. Uh, the thing's this. How do I? Yeah, as you can see. This is kind of cool. And then I'll do a high pass to show you. And then so for the other hand now, this will actually. I'll just turn this off. So screw that. This actually adjusts now the panning, so basically left or right. Again, I'd probably do this with an Ableton using this right here, just doing something like along, along those lines. But it's so cool that you can do it within the plugin. You know, it's kind of a little cool, unique feature. And also, we have a bunch of other ones too, so we haven't even touched. That's why I want to give this one a bit of a higher rating because at first I'm like, it's a TikTok plugin or a, a clock plugin. But there's a lot you can do with this one, so I'm just going to do it here. So it's more on the right side. Oh, come on. Shoot. There's one frustrating thing about this one is trying to get the right hand. Come on. I'm trying to touch. No. Why does it not let me click it anymore? Come on. No. Ugh. So this is the most annoying thing about this one. Oh, there we go. Okay. So you see it more on the left side. Right. And then on the right side. So again, I'll probably do that though, being honest, um, with an Ableton, just to make it easier. So now I'm just gonna put these here. I'm just gonna put them like that. So it's pretty much completely dry. And now let's see the different type of clocks they have. So. Kinda cool, right? I'm just gonna try different pitches and whatnot. Or it's gonna be different uh, notes, so we just speed it up. Do a wall clock. Obviously, each one with different sound qualities. I'm surprised someone put this much time into a plugin like this. this is, for a clock plugin, I, I'm very su presently surprised of the amount of effort that went into it. It's kind of cool. Vintage 2. We got Vintage 1. Ooh, I like that one actually a lot. Then we got Joe Clock. This is a Joe Clock. I don't know, actually. Hmm. 
Then we have the final Christine. I wonder if these are maybe like custom made ones that they just kind of did for fun. Some panning on it, I noticed. So I'll probably do something like this. And then we have seven sevens clock. So maybe these are like some of the creators I'm assuming maybe made this. Really cool. And then we have the Mab clock. It almost feels like there's like already a filter on it a little bit, like filtering out the high end. And then last but not least, we have the Tic Tac Toe. 